Hello, my name is Bruce Gibb. I'm a professor of chemistry here at Tulane University. My group consists of organic chemists. We make organic molecules, but we're primarily concerned with how these molecules interact with one another. In particular, we're interested in how these molecules interact with one another in water. Water is a substance we take for granted, but there are many mysterious, unknown questions about water which we hope that some of our research will shed light on. So we make molecules. Um, the sorts of molecules we make are typified by this model shown here. This molecule is water-soluble on the outside, but water-insoluble, hydrophobic on the inside. And what can happen with these molecules is if two of them are in solution together, they can come together and form a capsule. And once we've got a capsule, we've got a dry interior and a wet exterior. That dry interior can be used for a number of purposes. I'll just mention one in passing right now, and that is doing reactions inside these capsules. So we're used to doing reactions in round bottom flasks, which are, you know, this in diameter. These capsules have volumes that are of the order of one yoctoliter, 10 to the minus 24 liters, very small volumes. And so what molecules do inside these very small spaces is very different from what molecules do in large flasks and buckets. So by studying these capsules in water, we can bring about unusual phenomena that you don't normally see, whilst at the same time, you can learn about the fundamentals of water, why these things dissolve the way they do, why they assemble the way they do. And so those two aspects, the fundamentals about the hydrophobic effect and the unusual phenomena that we can engender with these capsules is one of the main thrusts of our research. And our students usually inv are involved with organic synthesis to make these molecules, and then a variety of techniques that we use to probe how these molecules interact with one another. Mm -hmm.